Grand Seiko's Evolution 9 collection is becoming very well-rounded with the series of birches, a spring drive chronograph, and a flagship diver. But now, just as travel has started becoming normal again, the Evolution 9 series has a GMT offering. This GMT piece is called the SBGE 285, which has a snowflake texture dial in a gray that is inspired by the landscape of Nagano, where it was created and is the home of the spring drive. The dial represents the morning mist that envelops the mountains in winter. Not only does this one have a fascinating dial, but it is constructed out of high intensity titanium. So let's find out if this piece will be the first Evolution 9 piece for you, or if this is just something that we will wait for a limited edition version of and contact Little Treasury right away in the future. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, we reviewed the Grand Seiko SBGJ 260 Blue Peacock, which is a US only limited edition and reissue of the SBGJ227 Peacock, which was released a few years back. This one has a very striking dial and will be one that will catch attention from across the room. And I recommend checking this one out if you like vivid dials, especially in blue. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko SBGA211 Snowflake, which is a very similar dial to the watch that we are reviewing today. But the main difference is that the Snowflake is actually white while today's watch is more of a gray tone. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching this video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Grand Seiko SBGE 285 has a 42 millimeter case width, a 14.3 millimeter thickness, a 47 millimeter lug to lug, a 21.8 millimeter lug width, a 32.9 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 122.13 grams. The case is the Evolution 9 series and is made out of high intensity titanium which is an alloy of titanium, niobium, and iron, and is approximately 100 Vickers harder than stainless steel and 30% lighter. It has wide thin lugs with brush finished tops, a stripe of high polish going along the edge and more matte finish on the sides. The crown guard was designed to prevent catching on clothes or equipment and is seamlessly integrated into the case. With a robust screw down crown at the three position with the GS logo at the tip, the bezel has a vertically brushed finish, which is found on all Evolution 9 pieces, and has black even numbered hour markers with ticks in between each to represent the odd numbers. The crystal has anti-reflective coating on the inside, is box style, and sits above the bezel, which will help prevent the bezel from getting scratches. The dial is in a gray tone, and to be clear, this is not a white dial in any way. It has the snowflake dial texture, which represents the morning mist on the mountain tops of Nagano. The black minute marks can be found around the untextured chapter ring. The markers are part of the Series 9 style, which are broad and easy to read. In Grand Seiko's perfect high polish, but these markers actually have loom going down the middle of each. Grand Seiko can be found in black at the top middle portion with the GS logo applied in silver. The hour and minute hands are Dauphine style, and the hour hand has a chopped off tip with an indentation down the center and loom on each. The second hand is a simple silver needle. The GMT hand though is an arrow in black with loom in the center. The date window has a silver toned frame with a white background and black Arabic numerals. The power reserve indicator can be found in gray at the lower left corner, which is divided into three parts with each representing one day of power. And the dark gray portion will be the lowest level, which is at the top. It has a silver toned hand. Spring drive and GMT can be found in black at the lower middle portion. This piece is loomed and it can be found on all dial markers besides the three, on the hour and minute hands in green, and on the GMT hand in blue. The case back is open and shows off the 9R66 caliber. Nothing is obstructing your view of the movement here, and it is nicely decorated like you would expect from a spring drive caliber. This piece uses the original spring drive 9R66 movement, which is the GMT version, which is accurate to gaining or losing 15 seconds per month, which is basically one second per day. It has a 72 hour power reserve and the calendar linked time difference adjustment function. So if you're traveling and want to maintain atomic clock time, this is another good one. It also lets you go back to the previous day. Like all spring drives, the second hand glides elegantly over the dial with no ticks due to the electromagnetic braking system controlling it. 
The bracelet is Evolution 9 style, is made out of high intensity titanium, and is 22 millimeters wide with a complete matte finish. A folding clasp can be found with the GS logo. The Grand Seiko SPG 285 is 100 meter water resistant and can be yours for $8,400. Now for my personal opinion. This piece has many faces to it. The face that you have seen online and probably thought that it had a white dial. The face that you can see in the case, which seems not that exciting. And then the face that you see when you actually put this piece on and look up close. And I will tell you that this face is actually very impressive. I didn't really get excited about this one until I put it on and I did this video. And the feel of it and subtle details really make it feel premium. It fits great on my six and a half inch wrist and is very light at only 122 grams with all the links in. I think that the fact that they kept the 9R66 movement in here instead of upgrading it to the 9RA2 caliber was a good move since doing that would have increased the price most likely another thousand plus dollars. And the price point just seems to be repelling some folks when we're getting into that 10K plus range. Although the value is really there if you look at what you're actually getting. When you look at this piece up close, you'll notice that the bezel has a beautiful texture to it. And the shape of the case is really attractive. The dial is about the same texture wise as the Snowflake, but it has a really gray tone, which I would liken more to the SPGA 415 Winter. The good news here is that you can see the texture pretty easily on it, and it helps to spice it up a bit. This will be a great piece to actually travel with though, because it doesn't attract a whole lot of attention. But when you look at it, you will absolutely enjoy it. And I will recommend this piece to anyone who is looking for a top-notch GMT, or perhaps their first Grand Seiko piece that is a bit more sporty. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.